I'm like, yeah, food, it's important. We don't want to eat junk food. We don't want to eat a bunch of crappy seed oils. But when you understand how your body responds to light, you can't, you really can't go back to just a food focused paradigm. Uh, and so light, you know, is going to be different. We get different wavelengths at sunrise that do specific things for the brain and the metabolism. And then another wavelength that happens after sunrise is UVA. That's where we make dopamine, serotonin through those aromatic amino acids in the eyes. That becomes that night's melatonin. Uh, we make this uh, protein that is, turns into alpha MSH, which is a powerful appetite regulator. So I tell people if they're not hungry in the morning, really got to get out, especially during that UVA window. Um, then we have UVB. That's where we make vitamin D, the one everyone's obsessed with. Um, and then of course sunset when, you know, melatonin starts going down and nightfall, but the whole day, what a lot of people don't realize is that as long as we're outside, we're exposed to a ton of red and near infrared and far infrared. And the near infrared is what makes, um, subcellular melatonin. So we make pineal melatonin at night in response to darkness. That's why it's so important. It's a master antioxidant. It's crucial for preventing cancer, chronic disease, Alzheimer's, obesity, just you name it. Um, but we also make subcellular melatonin in the day in response to near infrared. And you can even do that in the shade. You don't have to be in direct sunlight. And so there's this whole other aspect of health that, you know, we spend, most people spend about 90% of their day indoors and they're missing out on near infrared.